Today I'm going to expose that fraud, Rick Hart, who's been taking music from musicbakery.com and putting some words to it and uh, publishing it as if it's his own and then making bogus copyright claims. So let's take a listen to several tracks that he's ripped right off of Music Bakery and trying to call it his own. And I know I'm going to draw a lot of matches on this because I'm going to play his stuff and the original. Isn't this going to be fun? Let's take a listen. Of course, the first one, this one's called Action Thriller. And this is musicbakery.com. There's the screenshot from the download page where you can actually go there and you listen to this track. And, well, here's the music. Let's listen how it goes here. And then I'm going to play a little snippet from the other guy's ripoff. So here's the real one. And here's the ripoff by Rick Hart, who called his See What You're Made Of. Yeah, let's see what it is made of. Kind of sounds like the same song, doesn't it? Because it is. Right up into the point where his uh, vo scrawny voice kicks in, and then he can try and call it his own. But as you can hear, the bed is exactly the same until uh, this part where he actually tries to sing. Let's take a listen. So how you gonna leave your sweet mama Earth? Next one is one called Carefree Days Again. Here's the screen from Music Bakery, and I just took a shot of this with my camera because I'm too lazy to actually just do a screen cap, right? Because, you know, I'm just doing this quick. I spend more time trying to catalog this music to figure out which tracks were which because I got a lot to go through and figure things out. But this is the original one, and um, we'll take a listen to uh, the rip-off one, one that he called Fool on the Corner. Now, there's only one fool here. And once again, as you can hear, clear as day, same music, right up to about now. And the next two ones, one's called Cowgirl Boots, that's this one we're listening to, the next one's going to be Cowboy Strut, so I just took a shot of the same screen, but um, here's the original one, and... Uh, We'll uh, take a listen to the uh, rip-off of this one. Incidentally, if you want to listen to this crap, go to the store.cdbaby.com slash cd slash rickhart2 and you can hear this stuff. Most of this stuff is... Most of this album is a direct rip-off. And here's his version. I know you, babe. You know how I treat you. And this track is called The Cowboy Strut from musicbakery.com. As you can hear how this one starts out, I'm just going to talk over this a bit, but I'm sure I'm going to get a copyright match on all of these, and I'm going to have to dispute every single one of them. And of course, we've heard this song before. We just heard it, actually. It's called The Cowboy Strut. But uh, not according to Rick Hart. He calls his version, What's a Baby to Do? And, uh, well, it's exactly... Oh, look! There was an error there. Actually, in the downloadable file, they actually had an error. But, you know... He just starts uh, singing away. And here's Driving Blues. Again, another one. Uh, this this entire album pretty much was a complete ripoff, but here's the original Driving Blues. And let's take a listen to the uh, ripoff of it. And here's one. He's calling it Ponta City Blues. I'm talking over this in so that I don't get a hit, but anyway, we'll try it. Okay, so that's a rip-off version, same song. This track's called Foreign Shores. And um, Rick Hart called his version Sunny Lady. And I've been hit many times when I've used this track and I've had to dispute it. But here's the original one. Let's uh, take a listen to the other version. And here it is. The version by Rick Hart he calls um, Sunny Lady. And, well, as you can hear, the music bed came from Music Bakery. Okay, I think I've heard about enough of this crap. Yeah, we're getting near the end. This one's called Groovy Baby, as you can see from the screenshot. And, of course, this one was ripped off as well. I think i got one or two more to go here, but let's take a listen to the uh, fake version. 
And this one's called Slide Under. And you can hear it's the same music Baby as usual. So I think this is the last one we're going to listen to off this album. Uh, this one's called Mysterious Stranger. And you might wonder why I've taken the time to actually expose this. Because this is running rampant. Uh, this guy here has done it with this one album. He's pretty much the entire album was stuff that was taken right off of off Music Bakery's catalog. It's not just him. There's there's many others that do it. There's others that just change the name of the song. They don't even add any lyrics to it. They just change the music or not change it. They just rename it. It, it happens all the time. But I think if we, we, we got what we got to do is we got to draw publishers like CD Bakery or CD Baby. What I'm calling CD Bakery. CD Baby. We got to draw their attention to the fact that they are selling music that they are not even legally entitled to sell because music from musicbakery.com is non-exclusive. You get a license when you download the music and you buy it from them, you get a non-exclusive license to use that music. So you can't turn around and publish it and sell it as if it's your own, which is what these people are trying to do. So let's take a listen just for the last bit here of the uh, ripoff of Mysterious Stranger, one that he called uh, Slip off the line and this was actually the first time i ever heard of this guy was when this track several years ago took a hit and i wondered who the hell is this guy and uh then i started i started uh, just investigating to find out and found that this album is blue horse band or whatever blue whatever i think it was called the blue horse band is uh, pretty much every single song on the album is right off of Music Bakery's catalog. So uh, anyway, um, that's you can. That's this one. And that's all there is to this. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you in the next one. Send your hate mail to CD Baby and all these other publishers and let them know what you think. Because this is a absolute. It's a joke.